In this video, we'll be walking you through how to add different kinds of textures to your avatar in Blender. By being able to experiment with different materials, you can discover endless possibilities throughout the creative process. We're going to use a pre-made file. First, we'll upload a snapshot of the simulated garment that has been created in advance. To export the avatar and the outfit, we'll go to File, Export, Export File as an OBJ or FBX. You can learn more about exporting from vStitcher and importing into Blender in our Render Your vStitcher Garment Using Blender video tutorial. It is important to change the avatar's rotation in advanced settings to Y axis. This way, the avatar and the garment will be imported into Blender in a stand up straight position. Great, now we're ready to export the dressed avatar. Once the export is done, we can open Blender, clear the workspace, and import the OBJ file. Blender's default setting is in meters, so the size of our avatar is a little too big here. We need to change its scale. With the avatar selected, go to Object Properties and set the unit scale to 0.01. Great! Now we have the correct dimensions and we can adjust the avatar to the position we want. We can now add a background. Camera. And an HDRI for our lighting. You can learn more about this in our Rendering Your Vistager Garment using Blender video. To change the materials, we go to the Shading workspace. With our avatar selected, you can see what materials are currently being used if you go to the Material Properties. Each one can be changed individually. We select our female skin material. In the Shader Editor, delete the original nodes and keep the material output only. Add a principled BSDF shader by selecting Add Shader Principled BSDF. Connect the BSDF with the surface in the Material Output node. We'll rename the material to New Skin, which will allow us to locate it easily later. We can achieve a variety of different results with just the single shader. Within this node, we are able to change color, metallic properties, adjust glossiness with a roughness slider, emission, and much more. If you want to dive deeper into the power of nodes, you can add, for example, a noise texture. We start as before by keeping only the material output node and adding a new principled BSDF. Next, we go to Add, Texture, Noise Texture, and connect the FAC factor to the base color. You'll then be able to experiment with the scale, detail, roughness, and distortion values until you get the results you're looking for. Now let's add some color into this texture. To do it, we go to Add, Converter, Color Ramp, and place it between the Noise Texture and Principled BSDF. Add one more color stop and recolor all of them with the colors of your choice. We can continue to tweak the color distribution and the noise texture. Next, we want to try out something more geometrical. Go to Add, Texture, Voronoi Texture. Duplicate the color ramp by selecting it and clicking Shift plus D, and move it to below the existing node. Connect the distance from Voronoi Texture to FAC Factor and Color to Base Color on the BSDF. Then change the distance on the Voronoi Texture to Minkowski, and delete one of the color stops on the color ramp, setting it to Constant. You can then toggle between the values on the Voronoi texture. By combining different nodes with different settings, you'll have access to an endless variety of materials. If you are new to creating your own materials in Blender, not to worry. There are many useful online resources to help get you started. 
To apply the material to the avatar, simply open the blend file with the downloaded material, select the object, and copy it. Then open the blend file with the avatar, paste it, check the name of the material. Now you can delete the object you pasted. Next, you can select your avatar, go to Material Properties, choose the material you want to change, and type in or scroll to find the material you pasted. Once we are happy with the new material, we can either keep it only on the body or use it also on other parts of the object. With the object selected, scroll through your materials list and select the one you want to change. Click the icon and look for the material you would like to use. In our case, it is soapbubble.001 material. We use the same material for our body, eyes, eyelashes, and hair bun. Now let's render a couple of images with different materials applied. And there you have it, a creative way to work with materials in Blender. To learn more about textures, visit support.browseware.com.